Konnichiwa everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today thanks to my friend Amanda, I'm going to be doing a Japanese Kit Kat taste test. Amanda is a friend that I have known ever since I was really really little and she recently went to Japan and got me all of this beautiful selection of Japanese Kit Kats. Look at how beautifully she's packaged this, how cute is this? Amanda has also sent along these beautiful kitty cat treats for my cats, so I'll actually have that on a separate taste test. Oh. The little half candies. Oh, they're so pretty, I don't want to eat them. I'll eat them still though, because what else am I going to do with them? How gorgeous are these little candies here? And I'm just going to try one. I'm going to try the little pink one. Oh, get out. How cute's that? It's got a little cherry in it. Mm. Oh, they're really yummy too. Mm. They're like little pieces of love, aren't they? And that one actually does taste like cherries. I want to show you this one because it's got a face on it. Gorgeous. Oh, well, let me show you this one. It's a frog. Mmm, kawaii. Hang on, there's a yellow one. You want to see that, don't you? Oh, oh, oh. It's a little cow. It's so tiny. So let's have a look at these different Kit Kats in here. How am I going to eat all of these? Ah. Oh. That's not a Kit Kat. She's done that to throw me. I'm onto it though. I've got to work this out, everyone. Just give me a second. Oh, I'm still recording. Taking my time sorting out these Kit Kats. <laughs> Now these things are a hard candy, so I'm going to leave that to the end of the video because it, it well, it's too hard right now. These ones are a hard candy, but they're actually Baskin and Robin flavour, which is really exciting. First up, I'm going to try this one here, and it looks like it's a red bean one. I've never been a huge fan of the red bean flavour. Seems like something that I want to eat in my nachos, not a Kit Kat. Might be good though. Oh, look at that. I can take a little note on the back there. Perhaps later I'll be writing, I don't like red bean Kit Kats, I don't know. Oh, it's white. Oh, so I destroyed it. I don't mind it. The chocolate on this is quite nice. And the red bean flavour goes really nicely with the wafer biscuits in the Kit Kat. I wasn't expecting to like this one. I do. Anytime I've had red bean stuff before, it was in something squishy. But the texture of the red bean stuff actually is really good in this one. Yum! Oishi! This one's in a dark green package. I can't see any indication of what flavour this is. Oh, it's green! It's like bright green. Maybe it's going to be matcha? It looks really beautiful. Ooh! This is like a matcha flavoured chocolate and then you got your wafer biscuits and a matcha flavoured cream filling in the middle there too. I'm not always a fan of matcha but I quite like this green Kit Kat, it's really quite tasty. I find matcha sometimes too bitter, usually it sort of makes me sort of go, this is not having that effect on me. And I think it's because it's so pretty to look at. I really like it in this chocolate form Kit Kat. Yum! Oh! There's a bit of a bitter aftertaste. Look at this one, how cute is it? Oh, uh, why does the bear look terrified? What is that supposed to be there? I've got a guess by my taste buds, wish me luck. Why does the bear look so terrified? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh it's different bear. Different bear, different day. This one looks quite happy. Now this one looks terrified. Oh, this is a white chocolate one. What's this? It's sweet, very sweet. Is it supposed to be like a cheesecake or something? Is that what that is? No, that's not a cheesecake. Maybe it is in Japan. <laughs> this is gonna sound really random and weird. It tastes a little bit like sweet potato. It's probably not. I really quite like the flavour in it though, really nice and sweet. If you're really into sweet stuff, you'd probably like that. Next up, I'm going to try this one here, and it seems to be just a normal regular Kit Kat. It actually comes in a little box instead of a packet. Oh, there's, there's, there's three of them in here. That looks like a normal Kit Kat, doesn't it? And it smells like a normal Kit Kat. Mmm. This tastes like a normal Kit Kat, but I can say this though, the chocolate on this is really yummy. It's really nice and smooth and creamy. This one tastes slightly richer in flavour than the regular Kit Kats we get here. Maybe it's just because I had those other ones, but it's very nice. I had a normal Kit Kat, isn't it? 
I've got this one here, which is, I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't even know what the picture of that is on the outside. I know that's a nut, that's an almond. I know what a nut is. Seems to have some sort of a berry with it, but I don't know what kind of berry that is. Oh, okay, so you got milk chocolate and it's got a topping on it. Look at that, how beautiful. Let me feel it. Yes. <laughs> really delicious but I really can't work out what I'm eating the middle of it is white and it sort of flakes away let me play with my food oh so you got your wafer biscuit in there and then you've got this dried berry filling in it and nuts on the top of it it's actually quite rich this one but the flavor of it's really delicious it's almost like you're having a black forest cake in a Kit Kat. <sighs> that makes no sense. This one's one of my favorites so far. I'm not sure what it is, but I love it. This one here is a sublime Kit Kat. And the only picture I have to go by is this. Is that some sort of a sundae? I think it's like a strawberry sundae. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this color here. It's a beautiful pinky purpley color. How gorgeous. I can't smell it. Am I dead? I think it's strawberry. In the middle there it's got vanilla wafer biscuits and a berry like filling. And then the outside chocolate is like a strawberry flavor. I think it's strawberry. I don't know. <laughs> it's very sweet and very tasty though. Yum. Oishi. Oh, sake. I know what that is. That's Japanese rice wine. I'm not a huge fan of sake. It's very strong. I feel pretty much like I've had some sort of a acid when I've had it. <laughs> Right, so this is a white colored one. Oh, I can smell sake already. Oh, it reeks of it. I, oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> no, I'm not a fan of this one. It tastes so much like sake. Got wafer biscuits in there and then just a sake flavored stuff in it. And it's just so strong. No, <laughs> just no, no, that's a no for me. It's like rocket fuel in a Kit Kat. Try this one in the green packet. It's a green one. Right, let's try it. It's a nice subtle flavor, this one. What, what is it? I'm gonna go out there and just start making up flavors. I'm gonna say this is pandan leaf. Pandan leaf Kit Kat. What is it? Look, I'd say it's green tea again, but I've already gone there. So it can't be green tea again, can it? I haven't done how. Oh! <laughs> I've managed to eat another green tea one. <laughs> that, 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 that is green tea again. <laughs> it's matcha. Obviously, I'm liking it the more I have it. <laughs> I had a system, but that's gone out the window. I've got to sort out stuff here. Can you wait? for me to get organized? No. I'm gonna try this one next and it's very similar looking to this one. It's got berries on it as well. Does it have nuts? No, yes, got nuts as well. Oh, so this one is like the other one, but like in a white chocolate style. How pretty does this look? It looks like a little baby dessert. Gorgeous. No. Mm. It's very sweet. I actually prefer the darker milk chocolate in this one. This white one's just uh, uh, a little bit too sickly sweet. No, 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 no. It seems chewier and I don't know why. No, thank you. Next up, I've got this one here. What is it? We do not know. No clues. Fantastic. Oh, it's green. Look at the variation in the colors of these and they're just absolutely gorgeous. Hmm. It's not much, huh? Hey, there's a flavor in here that I recognize. Is it wasabi? It is! No. Would they do that? Yeah, of course they would. <laughs> it does actually look like a wasabi plant. That's possible. It's not really hot though. Get out. This is definitely a wasabi Kit Kat. So you got your vanilla wafer biscuits in there and then you've got a wasabi sweet cream in there. It's not actually really hot. So it's not like 
bam, like a wasabi bomb, like you do at sushi, you go, I'll have just a little bit more, and then before you know it, your head's exploding. The verdict on the wasabi chocolate, I actually like it. It's quite sweet, it's not really that hot, and it's a really unique flavor. Wow, that's good. Pairing my brows, doing weird things. Oh, just grab my boobs on camera. <laughs> Next, we've got a mysterious dark Kit Kat. Oh, yes, dark chocolate Kit Kat. Mmm. It's, it's too rich. The dark chocolate is really quite bitter on this one. It's got enough sweetness in there, but I just find the whole thing quite rich. But if you love dark chocolate, you probably love this one. Next up, I've got this pretty pink one here. Yes, the flavor time, I've got no idea what this one is. Oh, very pretty. Smells like berries. Can I go with berries again? Why not? And if you look at this, it's actually got little tiny specks there. Maybe it's raspberry. Oh, yeah. I think this one is a raspberry Kit Kat. Quite nice. I like the bitterness of the raspberry flavoured chocolate and the filling is quite sweet inside. Very tasty. Yum. And now I've devoured all those Kit Kats and I feel pretty sick. I do. I've got these beautiful little Baskin and Robin sweets she sent as well. But I'm not going to have those today because I just can't eat anything more sweet today. I can't do it. You've got to know your limits. So I'm going to try these in the taste test later on with these kitty cat treats for my cat. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel because otherwise you're not going to see this video of my adorable cats. But they're not supermodel cats. Cats, but they're they're reasonably good looking. I think they're cute because I always tell them they're the prettiest cats in the world. They're probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but don't we all tell our pets that they're the most beautiful dog in the world or the most beautiful cat in the world? You're wrong because my cats are the most beautiful cats in the world. <laughs> I tell Hissy that all the time even though she's got like a paunch belly, she's got ginger random spots on her, but to me she's beautiful. I was gonna say thank you in Japanese but I can't remember what it is. Dom arigato very much Amanda. Is that thank you very much? I don't know. I don't know Japanese. I had a lot of fun trying to guess what all the flavors were and if everyone could thank the lovely Amanda in the comments below. Without her this taste test would not be possible. If you like my YouTube channel please remember to support me and encourage me to continue on my amazing YouTube journey. Give this video the thumbs up, share this video and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Have a fantastic week. Bye.